Hey everybody, Debbie on the patio. Let's talk real estate episode 11 coming to you today from Silver Rock Park here in La Quinta. And today I'm going to talk to you about title. Yay. Everyone thinks title so fun and sexy and very entertaining to talk about. <laughs> it's not, but it has a really big um, consequences in real estate. So let's talk about it a little bit today. One, let's talk about title, how you're going to hold title. If you're the buyer, are you going to hold title as tenants in common joint tenants? community property, community property with right of survivorship, LLC, corporation, all these different ways of holding title and they have tax and legal consequences as well as um, who can use the property and who can lean against the property. So make sure you consult a professional about that before you make your purchase and go about that the right way for you. And two, title insurance. In our contract, it states that the buyer is going to get a CLTA or an ALTA policy and that's going to offer title insurance to them on any encumbrances and liens that are recorded on the property and potentially anything that the seller was unaware of that's non-recorded. It is a title insurance policy that in the state of California, at least Southern California, the good news for the buyer is typically paid by the seller. So then title insurance, uh, the seller is going to give you free and clear title and give you an insurance policy that states that. The fun part about title insurance, um, we open escrow, we get a preliminary title report, we know who the, the owner is, so the proper people are signing the paperwork, and then we get a preliminary report halfway through escrow or the beginning of escrow, hopefully in the first seven to ten days. And that's going to show us any liens, encumbrances, anything that might cause a major problem of why we can't get free and clear title. That could be anything from your mortgage, CCNRs, your HOAs, utility easements, property taxes, if you have or haven't paid those, or it could be something like child support, a car loan, a car lien judgment, um, and a small business loan, something you didn't even know you or forgot you recorded with the property. And those need to be paid off or settled or moved before the close of escrow. I had one recently, it was the last couple years, and the owners bought the property, they borrowed the down payment money from friends, and those friends um, have, have since passed away. The sellers said that they paid the loan and uh, had some documentation, although not all the documentation. The trustee of the estate of the lien holder didn't want anything to do with it. They didn't know anything about it. They knew a little bit about it, but really it wasn't part of their deal. They said it's been settled, contact someone else. And we had to get it signed off on before, um, before we could close and give the buyer free and clear title. And it took three to four months for us to get that done and a lot of frustration. So make sure you talk to your realtor when you are selling the property, tell them everything, um, try and sort through all of that before or have a plan before you move forward and put the property on the market. It's a lot easier and a lot less headache and gives me a lot less gray hair if we can settle it up front. And that's what the title insurance policy does. It gives the buyer free and clear title. They know what encumbrances they have. They know what liens their new mortgage might be on there. All kinds of fun stuff. The third tip I have for you today is if you own property in the state of California and you have it in a will versus a trust, and please do seek legal advice on this, but your will is probably going to take that property to probate. If you have it in a trust, it is going to keep it in the trust and keep your property out of probate. Of course, talk to your lawyer about that. But I found myself in that situation this year. Um, I didn't have a trust. I now have a trust and my property is now owned by my tr or in a quick claim deed into the trust. If you own the property in a trust and you refinanced, make sure you put it back in the trust because you cannot loan in a trust. So all little hints and tips and look forward to talking to you more about real estate and the fun things that we do every day for you. Have a great day.